Welcome to Heathcote Electronics. In this video I'm going to show how to control a point with a servo motor mounted underneath the baseboard. In a previous video we showed it with the servo motor mounted on top of the baseboard. This is just one method you could do it, there are other methods, but it's a nice simple method. The idea is we get some 1mm diameter piano wire, we drill a hole through the baseboard and this is going to rotate in the hole. This crank sticking up is the part that's going to go in to the tie bar. So as it rotates it's going to move the point across. To move this end which makes it all rotate we're just going to use a servo motor under the baseboard fixed to this end like this. Now because this sticks up a little bit above the baseboard then you've got a couple of choices. Either you get a chisel and just chisel down just over a millimeter or if you use cork underlay or something like that for your track you can mount the track on there and then it'll cut a notch out for the piano wire. To cover it all up I'm going to use a second layer on top of that so then you'll be able to ballast everything without jamming up all the moving piano wire. Often the points need to be positioned very accurately because you join up to other points. So what I suggest you do is make a mark at the end of every rail, make a mark at both ends of the tie bar, draw a line between those two tie bar marks, find the middle of it, doesn't have to be that accurate, once you've got to that stage, if you imagine what's going to happen, this is going to pivot. The longer this arm is, the closer this moves to a straight line rather than arc of a circle. It could be either on that side or it could be on that side. But obviously it's got to be roughly at a right angle. If it, if it wasn't at a right angle, it's just moving in completely the wrong direction. So if we draw roughly at right angles, Now this is double O gauge, if it was N gauge I'd make it shorter, but let's try 20 millimeters. We now need to drill a 1 millimeter diameter hole here. The thickness of the two layers of cord is about 2 millimeters, and from the top of the cord to the top of this sleeper is about 3 millimeters, so we need to bend a 5 millimeter long crank in the piano wire. Nothing has got to be exact. Measure that. That should be okay. Now because I think I can drill the position of the hole more accurately than I can make the bend to fit the hole, I'm going to make the bend in this first and then drill the hole afterwards. any bears on the end of the piano wire you need to file them off and we can put the piano wire into the hole. It's going to be quite a tight fit. So that's pretty much where we want it to be. Now what we need to do is bend it over on the other side. Now because this bend its only purpose is to rotate this we can make it anywhere we want it hasn't got to be in line with the point. So it's wherever you think it is best to fit the servo motor where it's out of the way of other things. So let's uh, just bend it over this way. Cut out a slot in the lower piece of cord so that this can move easily. The second piece of cord is just going to go over the top. 
and that's going to just need a tiny little slot that you're not going to see because it's going to be covered up with the sleepers You can hear the point click as it moves over, that's the two positions, so if we mark them with a pen, this has got to go between there and there. As this is a lever, and this is 45mm long on this side and 15mm on that side, it moves three times as far as the tie bar moves. This gives it a little bit of leverage but there's so much torque in the servo motor you don't really need any leverage. So now we can fix the servo motor on so that when this is vertical it's between these two points. Right, that's the servo motor mounted in one of our brackets connected to the single servo controller which is wired to an on-off switch. All the wiring and the adjustments we've described on several other videos and we'll put links on the description for them. So this is what happens. You can hear the click as the point goes over. I'm looking on the point side. So one of the advantages of servo motors is you get slow motion action of the points which is more realistic because it's a signalman pulling a lever to pull it over. <laughs> 